Book Four, Chapter Three, Domestic Electricity. In this chapter, we will study the calculation of electrical power of electric appliances and learn the basics about household wiring. Chapter Three Point One, Electrical Power and Energy. In the Let's Begin section, there are two light bulbs connected in series. It turns out the light bulb which labeled a lower power is brighter. Why? Electrical appliances are energy converters. They convert electrical energy to other forms, which almost always include internal energy, heat. The current delivered by a voltage source carries electrical potential energy. When current flows through a circuit, the electrical energy is converted to other forms. Current flows through a resistor always produce internal energy, or simply heat energy. This is called dual heating effect. Part two: Electrical power. Power is the rate of energy transfer. And therefore, the amount of energy converted per unit time. Calculated by the formula, power equals energy converted over the time second. The unit of power is watt. One watt equals one joule per second. So, a hundred watt filament lamp converts a hundred joules of electrical energy to other forms per second. Unfortunately, a filament lamp converts most of the electrical energy to Infrared radiation, which is invisible. In example one, we have to find the power of a battery when its EMF and the current flow are given. As power equals energy converted over time taken, when we consider the case in one second. Therefore, in one second, the energy converted E equals Q times V, where Q is two coulomb. And V is the EMF of the source. And hence, we have 7.2 joule in one second. And hence, the power is 7.2 joule over one second equals 7.2 watt. Indeed, we may also have power equals energy transferred over time taken, where energy transferred equals charge multiplied with potential draw. We are arranging it. Then you may have potential draw multiplied with current to be the power consumed due to a potential drop in the circuit. Similarly, the product of EMF multiplied with current produced by the source will be the power supplied by the source. Moreover, using the relationship V equals I R, we may also express power as I square R or V square over R. From these expressions, is power P directly proportional to R or inversely proportional to R? Do you still remember central pedal force F equals m V square over R, also equals m omega square R? So is central pedal force directly proportional to? Or inversely proportional to the radius R. In example two, two resistors are connected in series. One has a larger resistance. Which one will produce a larger power? As the same current passes through the two resistors, the one with a larger resistance will produce a larger power, as power equals I square R for the common current I. In example three, two resistors are connected in parallel. One has a larger resistance. Which one will produce a larger power? As the same voltage develops across the two resistors, the one with a smaller resistance will produce a larger power, as power equals V square over R for a common voltage V. You may refer to the table on the next page for the comparison of the two cases.